If someone was following you, do you think you'd notice? What if they were following you for a whole month? Well, I got someone to hire a private investigator to do just that. Hi mate, are you? Oh, nice to meet you, man. Follow me. Yeah. And not only did I have no idea where they were, I also couldn't believe what they found. How have you found that out? The world of private investigators is by definition quite private, so finding information about them is tricky. But essentially, they are called in if someone wants to dig up some dirt on a rival, cheating partner, or mortal enemy. Why you chose to use your platform to be a narcissistic little child? Now, I don't think I have any huge secrets, other than I absolutely adore Lawrence Fox's music. They stole a march on your indecision. So what would happen if I got a friend of mine to hire a private investigator on my behalf. Um, how, how should we do it? Do you, do you want to go sit down somewhere and have a look? And ask them to follow me for a month. What would they find out about me? And would I notice them being there even though I knew that they were there? To answer this question, I got my friend Aziz to research and find a private investigator to follow me over the course of a month. I wouldn't know where they were, who they were, or what they were looking into. Either way, I reckon I'd feel like someone was watching me. So, today is the first day in which the uh, private investigator is meant to be following me. Um, <laughs> I'm, I am already paranoid and anxious and every single person I walk past, I'm constantly thinking, are, are they taking pictures of me? Are they following me? I mean, these gentlemen having chicken on the bench, I don't know. They could be following me. I have no idea. Um, what I said to Aziz is to make sure that I am not looking over my shoulder every single day, I've asked Aziz to hire the PI to surveil me at random points throughout the next month. So they could be following me now, they could be, they, they could not be. Um, so it just means that I can get on with my life and basically not have to constantly look over my shoulder. Either way, the time period has begun and I am very nervous. <laughs> I had a right to be nervous as across London at that very moment, Aziz had made contact. Hi mate, are you oh, nice to meet you man. Aziz has subsequently told me that in the research that he did, this PI was the real deal. David had given him five stars and called him Dup of Investigations. Thanks David. And with a quiet place to talk, they were ironing out some of the details. PIs don't come cheap, but I want to know what my secrets are. So Aziz came to an agreement and the hunt was on. Meanwhile, I'd forgotten all about being hunted and was just generally enjoying my life at an ABBA tribute concert. Is she looking up the lyrics? Can't believe you don't know them already. Over the next month, the PI, or PIs, followed me on random days. And I didn't have a Scooby. Yeah, he's quite good. I've got a good chance, especially back there when he stops to look at that vintage song. Right, let me get that shot. Come back a little bit. Come back down here. Come now. Which way is he going?
After all of that, one month later, Aziz sent me a message with a time and a location for me to come face to face with my shadow. Hello. Hello. Maximilian Arthur Fosh, I'm guessing. Correct. Good, good. Would you prefer Max? Um, Max, I think, yeah. I've been following you around for the past month or so. I have, I have no idea who you are and I do not recognise you, which, which really, really scares me. No, good. Uh, no criminal record, I see. That's very good. Uh, you're still re residency at Am I right? That's correct. Yep. Well, I found out a few things about you. Uh, how are your parents, all right? Good. <laughs> They're very good, well, thank good. you, yeah. Oh, lovely family. <laughs> I know that we've paid him to do this, but it doesn't get any easier. Yeah. So, uh, we're just going to go for a few things, uh, what I've found you doing uh, out there. You get up to all sorts in your life, don't you, Max, really? Uh, I'm guessing you've got quite a good uh, singing voice, as I might have heard. <coughs> there we are. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in a choir. Nice. But I'm, you know that, don't you? Oh, I do. Yeah. yeah. I quite a few things online about the uh, Adam Street singers, I believe they are. <laughs> no! Quite a few videos on there. Have you bell to get out? Yeah, a lovely voice. I'm so glad that now everyone knows that I can sing. Mm. Uh, so it was a good save the other day as well. We went with your buddies, play some football. Saw that as well. Quite a good player. Oh yeah, this is this is a good one. Yeah, nice. On the ground. Where were you? Genuinely, where were you? This was before I thought we'd started this as well. So. For the past month, I've kind of been thinking, oh, there might be someone who's following around. But genuinely, this was before that period of time. I'm having a quick coffee. <laughs> yes, I had a coffee with Zach Halsop. Zach, it does look like I'm lovingly looking at you over my latte. <laughs> I'm so glad that got caught on camera. Uh, how are things going in the career aspects of your life, Max? Good. Good? Yeah? yeah. I saw you had a meeting with an agent about a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite easy to follow in that blue cap you keep wearing. I should probably stop wearing that, shouldn't mm. I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally looking right at you. How did I miss this? There were a few times like that on the road, actually. But uh, you don't keep that much of a keen eye when you're walking about this city. Get it in your gob, Max. Mm. Jesus. So I've been able to find a few of your passwords quite easily. That probably needs changing somewhere down the line. So I've got your home Wi-Fi password here. <laughs> uh, KGH6SN7P. Yeah. That is my Wi-Fi password. So the password to your Instagram account is... How... How? <laughs> is there anything you'd recommend that I do to make it harder for someone like yourself? Uh, yes, so in password's sake, use a password manager. Right. If I can't find your stuff online, that's really the first stepping stone. Right. So everything else comes from that. Okay. Um, please don't do this again. I guess I'm not going to be paying you anymore. So <laughs> you won't be doing this. No way. You don't do this. <laughs> you don't do this. <laughs>